Hey, I just want to show you quickly the power of automation within Photoshop, and that's batch automation. So that means you can take a ton of files all at once and make a, apply a bunch of changes to those and then save those so that you really never have to get into those files, open them up, do anything. Uh, but you can use it with the option to do additional editing, and that's what I'm going to show you. Um, so I'm not going to get into the intricacies of how to create the actions. I just want to show you the power of the actions so that you'll know that it's something that you should study. Because if you're doing these designs and you're spending a lot of time and sort of going like, oh my gosh, this takes forever. I want to apply the distressed filter. I want to size everything. Um, you know, anyway, design can take a long time. And this is a system that I came up with that, that helps me a lot. I used an app on my phone to create all of these designs. I've probably created like 200 designs in a day, maybe more. Um, and they're different variations on, on sayings and that sort of thing. So anyway, um, I've created all these designs in the app. Now in the app, I can't change the size of the design that I'm aware of. So I have to import those. So what I've done is I've uh, created a, a system here where I can open up each one of these files and I can play an action, which is what you need to learn about is Photoshop actions and how to create Photoshop actions. And in the general overview is you're gonna do the action, record it, and then go back and play that on each one of the files. Now, the cool thing is when you get into uh, automation, you can click automate batch. And so you can actually choose every file inside. If, you, if you're looking at your source, you can choose every file in a particular folder or you can choose your opened files. Uh, you could also do import, but typically you're going to either be doing folder or opened files. So in this one, I have a bunch of files opened, and so, and so I'm just going to choose all of my opened files if I wanted to do this to all of these at the same time. But I'm just going to do it on a one-by-one one basis because it's still speeding me up quite a bit. And the reason I'm going to do that, as you can see, uh, I do have some things that I want to edit here, like this. What I'm going to do is come in here and get rid of the black. Oops. Okay, and so the reason I want to do that is because I want to actually show the shirt color showing through, of course. Okay, so we've got our image. And I'm going to hit play on my action that I created, which is to size it and add a distressed filter. So I click play. It does its thing. Uh, and it's got a stop that's supposed to bring this message up. But for some reason, it's not bringing the message up right now. But the message is just a reminder that oh, I just saw it flash up. Just a reminder that I need to take my image now and resize it because we changed the DPI to 300 from 72. And now we need to resize this however big I want it. And then I can, um, you know, add in any other graphics or clip art I might want to add or do any warping or, you know, anything like that that I might want to do to the image that I created on my phone. So any other additional edits, you go ahead and do that. And then, uh, now this is, of course, is with the action that I created. Um, if, if all you want to do is resize them, then that's fine. Just create an action just to resize them. Uh, but this is a little bit more of an advanced one. So resized it. I'm going to hit play again and it's going to continue with the rest of the steps in the action and what it's going to do and you won't even see this happen it's going to pull in an additional uh, graphic file place it over this which is a distressed filter it's going to select the color range of the black that's in that and then it's going to go in and choose the layer zero that i have set up here and it's going to delete everything and then it's going to save it to my ready to upload folder so that quickly I can take this file and I'm gonna click play and we'll do the whole thing again there it is it says resize for shirt front position as desired and then press play on select layer zero which is gonna automatically default to that next step and now I'm gonna take this one resize it get it where I want it hit play again and off it goes it's going to do its thing it's going to apply that distressed filter it's going to make sure that it's 15 by 18 at 300 dpi and then it's going to save it to that folder and so you can see the speed of this now i'm 
you know, sitting here drinking coffee while it's doing its thing and I'm talking to you. So there's very little interaction. I don't have to make 50 clicks and now it's on to the next file again. And so you can see very quickly, I'm going to click size and distress again. This is my action that I created. It wants me to resize it because of the reduction uh, of size due to the increase in DPI. There we go. And you can see I made several versions and variations of this same saying. I did this very quickly within the app on my phone. And then those go from my phone. They all get saved in the iCloud, uh, you know, photo and then they're just automatically on my computer. So all I have to do is just open those files up uh, and move them over to a, a folder that I created on my Box account that says, you know, needs to be edited, basically. I have a folder that says needs to be edited from my app. And so here's another one that I need to come in here and get rid of this. And I'll go select similar and hit delete. And we'll zoom back out. And then I'll play. Well, let me deselect that. Make sure we don't have anything selected whenever we do our actions so that something weird doesn't happen. Okay, it's going to tell me I need to resize it. And I'm going to scale that. And hit play again. And again, we're adding our distressed filter, sizing it properly. I can see I have it a little off center here, but I'm not too worried about that. And it's gone again and then it'll be uh, time for the next file so you see you can breeze through these very quickly uh, and if you'd like to not have any interaction you can actually just do it like I said where you're just going to open up each one of these files from a folder let it do its thing let it save them and you really don't have to have any interaction 